That has been called the new oil, but it's only as valuable as oil if in fact it's used in the right way. Just because there's a lot of data around doesn't mean that there's a lot of value in those data. So the critical skill that you need to be able to succeed in this world, and in fact, that's the skill that will differentiate you from the rest of the crowd in the, in the marketplace, is the ability to know when it is that data are going to mislead you, how you can actually use data in a better way, what questions to ask. It's not just a question of differentiation. I think it's a question of survival. In the new world, to be able to survive, you need to understand data. Let me give you one example of where it is that you can go wrong with data. Dashboards are something that most organizations around the world use. The problem though is that dashboards also have the potential to mislead dramatically. Because there's some kind of measurement going on, they create an illusion of insight where there might be no insight at all. Worse still, in fact, the information that you get from dashboards could mislead you into a direction that you don't want to go into. To be able to move beyond dashboards, you have to really get into the real world of analytics, which is about being able to predict what's going to happen into the future. And that's where the real value of analytics lies. As I think through, you know, in the insurance industry, how can you use information to um, predict um, claims that are going to be coming, or uh, people that might drop off from renewals, or if you think about uh, public sector and transport, um, how you can use information to move people around more efficiently or target those transportation modes that, that make sense. That's what the program's about. It's about teaching you to, to apply the principles, which I found quite attractive. I believe in the next 10 to 15 years, the ability to actually understand information, to model information, to be able to interpret information, the analytics of it is, is going to be a, a basic requirement for most professionals. To be able to do that as decision makers, you don't necessarily have to have all of the technical skills required. That's something that data scientists can do. But data scientists can only do the work that you ask them to do. They can only answer the questions that you ask them to answer. We're working with a large number of companies around the world where we're trying to upskill their executives because those organizations understand that without upskilling executives in data, they're not going to be able to survive. The organizations are not going to be able to survive into the future. This is the sort of stuff that we teach our students in the Master of Analytics Management program which is intended for decision makers to come and learn about how they could differentiate themselves by leveraging data.